Captain Forest here, and in today's video, I'm going to be power scaling Trigon from DC Comics. Now, if you guys are new to my channel, please leave a like, comment down below, and of course, subscribe for further content. Also, huge shout out to the HQ squad, massive shout out to the team, they're a huge help in my videos. So, please check them out. Their links will be in the description. Shout out to Grimbus and Corin. Also, huge shout out to Nardic and Slick, they were a huge help in this video too. So, huge shout out to those guys and the rest of the team but anyway i'm gonna go ahead and dive in and talk a little bit about trigon and then yeah i'm gonna leave all my thoughts at the end of the video i will put a description of where i have trigon and i'll leave like the ap and speed portion for you guys to check out so trigon managed to spawn across many many universes by impregnating women with his seed. He is like water being able to change the shape of his container, but in this case, it's evil and not water. Trigon is called the ruler of the five under realms and is shown with his three sons, Belial, Raskov, and Sergei. Trigon has explained that he has been around before time even existed and that he has devoured the afterlife from his people. After the people of Azeroth released the darkness and the evil from their hearts, Trigon was formless evil energy. Afterwards, he was shaped into being by the heart of darkness, which is made of every evil deed from nearly a hundred galaxies. It should be noted that it wasn't just in one galaxy, as the heart of darkness has crushed universes as well to move to the next, gaining more evil. The Baron states that Trigon is an evil that is beyond any he's ever suffered before, and notes that Trigon will destroy the balance of good and evil, and that Trigon will destroy everything. Trigon notes that he is the greatest threat that the universe will know. Raven states that Trigon is Satan only to the hundredth power and considering how she has history with Neuron, this pretty much seems to be pretty accurate in this case. And also, referring back to what the Baron was stating, he's referring to the great evil beast and the presence. So Swamp Thing was the one that ensured that they created a truce to prevent the great darkness from plunging the world into complete darkness to the hand that represents God, aka the light presence, and the hand that represents evil, the great evil beast. So basically Swamp Thing made them shake hands and be friends, and the Baron himself notes that Trigon will destroy the balance of good and evil, and will destroy everything. Trigon would at least be above the great evil beast, aka empty hand. Uh, potentially you could even argue the presence, however that's just up to interpretation, but you know, like, even if we lowball and say it's just the great evil beast, that is still impressive regardless. Uh, this in turn would pretty much obviously make him definitely a match for eight for empty hand and he would also scale above dark side as well especially since empty hand pretty much body dark side in their fight so we got some really good creation level scaling already for trigon to further add on trigon is also an avatar of the great darkness and some of that power carried over to trigon's daughter raven Raven inherited the darkness, and it cannot harm her. Raven demonstrates that she is able to absorb the great darkness's influence from John. The dark energies, in fact, empower her. She also talks about the darkness that resides inside a human soul, drawing her near it. So that's pretty impressive. Some really good stuff for Trigon, especially in this the new run, which was the Dark Crisis Green. Some really good statements and some more elaboration on Trigon and Raven, so they definitely got some upgrades um, throughout DC, which is pretty good. Trigon is shown to feed on the darkness and evil of others, which empowers him. He can siphon power from his own realm, which makes him stronger. He can do this to other planes of reality, such as stealing souls. He can steal life from Earth to empower him, and he can also empower his own realm by taking power from other realms and pretty much receiving it into his own, which is pretty cool. Trigon is shown to use attack reflections such as reflecting back Cyborg's attack back on him. Trigon is shown to use his opponent's powers against them such as manipulating Brick's own powers into himself. Trigon can fire a laser which upon contact disperses you to atoms through the light stream so that they are alive forever and they will continue to basically torment and suffer forever in this endless loop, which is actually pretty disgusting. Trigon can also project Hellfire from his eyes. Hellfire itself in DC can pretty much burn you down to a physical and spiritual level. Trigon can also torture and torment his victims, and Trigon is the personification of evil. He is the darkness in every creature's soul. He has type 3 and 8 immortality. As long as evil exists, Trigon will always reform. The evil in people is what gives Trigon form. He cannot be killed. Even when Trigon's body was slain, the energy from his body could not be destroyed. Trigon is shown to regenerate from being stabbed in the brain and eyes, and Trigon has managed to spawn across 
many, many universes, as mentioned, by impregnating women with his seed. So pretty much, he can he will always come back, he'll always replace himself, even if he dies. And as long as evil exists, he will always reform. So that's some really good immortality stuff. Now we've seen Trigon resist Raven's mother, and later Raven and her mother alongside Donna, draining his power and dampening his will. Trigon has shown to analyze his opponents. Trigon can mind control his opponents by placing chains on them. If Trigon is destroyed, he can pretty much corrupt and spread his seed throughout others, and he will manifest himself. Another thing I want to mention as well is literally trying to like absorb Trigon is pretty bad, as he can just pretty much corrupt you. So there's that to take in note as well. So Trigon's pretty pretty difficult to deal with in certain categories, I'm, I must say. But moving on, Trigon is also shown some pretty interesting resistances and in order to understand what those type of resistances he has I must talk about magic and how it works in DC. So magic is the fundamental power of creation and belief in the multiverse. It is tied into every aspect of existence. Magic is empowered by belief. Magic defies the impossible and when using magic, the user is man manipulating reality to their own accord. The reason there are rules in magic is because people can give magic uh, rules. So inherently, there's some law, law hacks, some law manipulation, and law properties with magic and causality manipulation. So why am I mentioning all of this? This is because Trigon himself has resisted the effects of magic from Dr. Fate and Raven's mother, which in turn, warding off the additional hacks behind their magic. So that's some really good resistances that Trigon has under his sleeve, which is pretty impressive. Another thing I want to show as well is Trigon. He's literally shown to resist Donna Troy's lasso of persuasion. The lasso forces the opponent to follow the user's command. So once they get snared by it, and we literally see Trigon just flex it off. So Trigon, pretty built different, has some really good resistances. And pretty much, uh, last thing I want to go over as well, speed. Speed pretty much easily, immeasurable, irrelevant. He's fighting characters who are literal creation level. He's gone up against characters who have their own irrelevant and immeasurable speed feats. So it's pretty self-explanatory. He's not slow in any capacity. Okay, so that's going to round up Trigon. Overall, Trigon is insanely powerful depending on where you have the DC cosmology. If you use the low end scaling for the cosmology, he'd easily be like high altiversal. You know, high altiversal plus, boundless, boundless plus. Now, obviously, if you use the stronger arguments, if we use character stats and profiles, uh, Trigon could very easily reach the extraversal tiers of AP, especially with a lot of layers into the tier, a lot of transcendences too. So Trigon is insanely powerful. But thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment down below, and of course, leave your feedback and subscribe to the channel. But it's been real. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.